What is up guys and gals, I'm Dettova2 and welcome to episode 3 of Fallout Central, where Fallout is the center of topic. In this episode, I will be talking about the customization of like settlements in Fallout 4. So without further ado, let's uh, listen to a little bit of what Todd Howard, our Lord and Savior, has to say. In our games. Um, and if you think about building and crafting, Fallout is kind of the perfect world to do all of that in. Um, so like many things, we have gone completely overboard. Uh, let me just jump in really quick and say they did. Like Bethesda, as long as or with Todd Howard, went completely overboard with an optional feature in their game. Like not a lot of studios will jump through hoops to do optional things for just for gamers. And also, um, this episode was recorded on YouTube from the Bethesda Software's E3 uh, conference. So all credit goes to them. I don't own any of this. Just letting that know, be known right now. And here's how it works in the game. We're allowing your character... So, let's go through a couple things right now. Uh, as you can see, up here he has zero people in here. He has no food. He has no water. No power. So, safety is like uh, the turrets and the defenses, like the guards that go around and everything and are on their structures to guard stuff. Um, he has none of that. No beds. His happiness, of course, is neutral right now. And his size, you'll see, it kind of stays the same throughout the entire... Uh, entire gameplay. So also here he has, he can construct from the workbench, he can construct parts of his house, furniture, uh, miscellaneous paint or paintings, and uh, I'm guessing that's storage, but let's see what else Todd has to say. While playing to rebuild. So right there you need a local leader for that part. And it works. So he scraps like you can rubber. scrap items in the world for materials and then use those materials to build the way you want. So he scraps the entire house, and the house altogether gives him 15 steel, 20 wood, 15 concrete, and 5 rubber. And, and so he starts building parts of uh, his house on a flat piece of concrete um, using 15 wood and 12 steel per part of the house. One of the great things about having a fully dynamic game engine is all of this just works in real time. Rip it apart and build the way you want. So right there he opens the door without using his hand so now we know for sure that you won't be like opening doorknobs with your hands uh, or you know anything like that. Also um, the house, I know the house isn't completely built yet but there you can enter this home without like a loading screen. I'm guessing that's gonna be whether or not the house is completely built like all the walls are done or not because this game most chances is not gonna have uh, loading that many loading screens are entering buildings. Like the rest of the game, this is about making it your own experience. We yeah, he is right. This is completely about making your own experience. I'm glad that they're not just giving us like you can build a house any way you want. You could decorate your house any way you want too. You can put furniture down. You can put bobbleheads down. You can put turrets anywhere you want. Most chances, you can plant food. You can do some other stuff which is awesome. You can also tag for a search item using RB or uh, R1 on the PS4. I want you to build and decorate and, and make yourself really um, a place you want to live in. A new home uh, for yourself and your best friend, of course. So, uh, something I'm wondering here is I wonder if the dog can somehow like sleep inside still, but um, I also wonder um, like what you need to build a nuclear coal machine or ice machine or ice, uh, uh, what do you want to call those, um, box things. So here you need th local leader rank three in order to build a, a trader post. And you're also going to need five wood. So you also need 300 bottle caps just to start this. So the, I guess the trader has, um, like money to trade with. As your settlement grows, people will arrive, including certain traders. They have some of the best items in the game. Uh, for these people, you will need to... Now you need to plant tato seeds. I'm guessing that's tomato, most chances. Um, the ground still doesn't really look that... Uh, like, like, the soil doesn't look right. I wonder if food's going to be still a little bit radiated, even if it's grown from the floor and fresh. You can plant food, water, and even uh, power generate. It's good to see that... Um, they're not brushing the floor with, you know, brooms like they did in New Vegas in 3. They're actually using a hoe for it. 
All right, so the generators will power things through switches that require power. Light. So I know this is really easy to understand, but in order to get uh, the lights to work, you need to run um, a wire through not only the generator, but through um, like the, the pole right there with the switch, because the switch is going to turn, is like an on and off switch while the generator is a source of power. ...and other items, and then you run wires that connect them all, and it, again, it, it just works. You can also build your own terminals that hook to this power grid, and then you can control... So the... as you see back there, he needed a rank 1 of hacker in order to plant down the, the nodes. ...various things and tweak them, uh, the, the power... So this stuff is still Roboco, so um, I guess the processor or whatever UI this thing's running is running off of Roboco. ...lines are connected to. This includes things like turrets. So he's able to run, um, actually no, there's two generators down there. So it takes two generators to run three things. I wonder if uh, each thing takes a certain amount of power. Considering there's six lights on there, there's uh, two lights on this pole, and then there's a whole turret right there. We have yet to really see um, what goes into the turret controls, because they didn't really show us. They just kind of said turret controls are here. Actually, no, yeah, they did. They just said, um, please choose an option, uh, system diagnosis or your defense system. So, yeah, you can either see, like, the damage rate it's at, or you can see, uh, like, the the system details. And then it also says load a hol holotape into here, so there's more stuff with holotapes we have yet to see. Because you do want... Now he's... See the safety up here? Um, the... These things, these guard towers, um, produce safety out of that, so people will be more safe. Want to build defenses. And you can also assign a, a worker to this job. Uh, because your settlements can and will get attacked. Uh, so he assigned this guy to this job. Raiders. The raider had a solid shotgun too, and this guy's not really doing anything. He's just kind of letting this happen. And uh, there's also mortars. It looks like it takes a lot of metal to make the mortar. So he runs into that trip wire. I'm not sure if that thing like electrocutes him or like it triggers like a gun, but um, it definitely didn't uh, like sh it might have also shocked him, but it wasn't really a laser because it would have cut off his legs. Most chances are like blood would have came out, so it probably wasn't like a laser to damage him. And then there's also flamethrowers. So it's fun to build up something yourself in the game that usually you'll find that that we have built for you. Um, and there are There's also uh, spinning lights in there, and the dog, you, also, you can also see the dog down there in his little doghouse. Many large sites in the game so world. So this site looks like uh, it's part of the uh, glowing sea. So um, this might be near where the bombs dropped and the in the trailer. So like where your main character first sees the bomb drop and it kind of pushes them in Vault 111. Where we allow you to build, and you can even and run. And this one looks like it's in a marshy area. Brahmin caravans. This one looks like it's near a river and near some more settlements. There's also mountains to the, to the left. Between your settlements. Um, this doesn't look very sturdy if you ask me. There's like no beams are going down, so uh, this is slightly unrealistic considering there's also a trade post up here. Uh, keep in mind, like most things we do... Uh, uh, this one looks like it's near some sort of large lake, river, or ocean. But it looks really nice. This is an optional part of the game that you can do if you want to. It's just Again, this is 100% optional. You do not have to do this in order to complete the game, but uh, I will definitely be partaking in this, and so will a lot of others. One part of a huge game, but it's really... I'm wondering if this is just a giant generator or just for looks. Really great for Fallout. We just absolutely love this feature. And that is going to end episode 3 of Fall Central. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this with all your Fallout buddies, parents, dogs. I don't give a shit where you do it. Just do it. And if you're new, subscribe for more content practically every single day. I'm Dota2 and I'm signing off. Have a good one, gamers.